Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2 here today on the channel. We have another episode of my House Stark series on the Dance of the Dragon scenario. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. We've got a small little incursion up in the north, which we should be able to deal with. Oh god. Whilst riding through the woods, I come... No. No, let's not do the Roose Bolton. Hey, Baylor is now pregnant. Hope it's a daughter. We'll just quickly get everyone in. Yeah, so we're dealing with a Skegos uprising here. I didn't even know. And Rickon. She's currently in seclusion, but Rickon's now four. Nice. Well, hopefully... Rhaenyra can have a safe and prosperous reign. So let's merge up and let's split and we'll get the other two to go after this. So by the end of the dance, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at House Targaryen because I am curious to see myself. So she lost Lucerus. So I guess he didn't die to... Aemond and Vagar in this. Aegon and Viserys are still alive. Yeah. The thing is, like, the Starks are probably happy with Jace or Joff if they are strong slash Stark descendants. And also, we're married into Baylor and Rayna, so we could always back Viserys or Aegon's climb. Oh, shit. So, yeah, Aegon died. Helena died. Uh, Jahera. Aemon's dead, Daron's dead, Daemon's still alive. We also have a little bit of a, um, a Valarian claim as well, if we want. So Jane of the Vale now sits there. Oh shit, so we've got this Skagosi. Yeah, I guess... I'm fighting, aren't I, technically? Just got to be careful, because I don't really want to lose. Rickon, I want to have some Targaryen children. Some Song of Ice and Fire children. That's what I want. Okay, so what's happened here in the Riverlands? Grover <laughs> Tully. Grover in his old age actually wanted to support Aegon, I believe. But it was Elmo and the other Muppets of Sesame Street to... Uh, Persuade him. Alright, so Boros, so Eldric, so who? Oh, he had a son after all that. Oh, okay. Tarwin Storm has married Cassandra. Uh, Dawn is still yet to join the Seven Kingdoms. Lionel is currently married to my bastard sister, so we might actually be able to get a solid alliance with the Tyrells, which would be huge. And, oh shit, Jason died. Against the Red Kraken. Oh, that shit's too funny. And... I guess Thailand? No, I was going to say, you'd think Thailand would essentially be the regent, but... Yeah, we know. Our conflicts have ended. We can now be service to our liege. Craig and Stark, I've decided to dispo upon, dispose upon... Wait, <laughs> dispose? <laughs> Bestow upon you, Warden of the North. And hereby charge you with the defense of the North. In any event of a foreign threat. Nice. And King Damon is now console. And nice. Baylor and Cregan have a daughter as well. So let's give her a Targaryen name, I suppose. So we've got Emma Aaron. Uh, do we call her Rhaenyra? Because she won. Rhaenyra Stark? Yeah, why not? Let's, uh... Because that's the thing is, like, they're, they're after, like, Robert's Rebellion, after Robert won, there's so many Robs in Robert. <laughs> Robert Aaron. Robin Aaron. Like, I think he's named after Robert. Rob is, like, named after uh, Robert Baratheon as well. Like, it's changed, but, like, that's what they're for. They're named after. Uh, yeah, so let's rename her Rhaenyra. And... 
Oh, Rickon, the betrothal didn't go through in the end. Did she remarry? Oh, she fucking died. Oh no, it's 16. Shit. Uh, of course I'm going to attend Rhaenyra's coronation. May tonight. We're surprised by the high septons. Period of feast. Nice. Now that we're down in King's Landing. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we do marry the two then. Marry Rickon to his half-sister, Rhaenyra Stark. Can we do that? Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Technically. Damn. Bron of Bramsford? <laughs> no, thank you. I want to back that plot. Get some more bodyguards in. I'd ideally like to make her a commander because she's got a dragon, my... My wife? Yeah, nice. Baylor. Yeah, so... If we ever want Baylor to help us out, how Stark now has a fucking dragon. <laughs> Okay, so what else can we do? Command the Household Guard. Uh, we can't face the dragon. We can take out a loan. Right, so I guess we just sort of save up and see if any other events happen. Yeah, so it, doesn't, it seems like the Westerlands and Dawn have maybe broken off. Here we go. The coronation of Queen Rhaenyra. Queen Rhaenyra kneels before the High Septon as her host of lords and knights surround them in complete silence. His Holiness the High Septon blesses her before placing the crown upon Rhaenyra's head and proclaiming her Queen of the Andals, the Rhoynar, technically, <laughs> and the First Man, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and uh, Protector of the Wyrrhon. Technically not true, but they're just going to claim it. Uh, with the Ceremony finally concluded. Rhaenyra bidded me farewell. Hopefully, Cregan doesn't have to march down south again. <laughs> My lord, we've received word that Cyrax has died. Oh, no. Died of severe maiming. Oh, shit. <laughs> now, Rhaenyra the tyrant uh, doesn't have a, um, a dragon. That could complicate things. That's one of the major problems with Viserys as well. Like him not having a dragon. He had to sort of delegate his <laughs> dragon fear-mongering and sort of saber-rattling to uh, Daemon and Rhaenyra to some extent. It might have even improved his health because there's that connection that like you actually get stronger. You sort of take elements of the dragon onto yourself apparently. Okay, so my cousin Brandon has had a... Son, that's fine. We can call him Jonal. I, I, I don't really care. But Rhaenyra has successfully hatched another dragon, though. Nice. Okay, so... Hi, Admiral. I'll take the appointment. Uh, oh wow, this is huge. So Rhaenyra has actually come to me and said, Hey, would you can we marry Aegon to Rhaenyra? Cause technically he's next in line. Oh Luke died. Wait, J J Jace died? What the fuck? Unless Josh has jo uh, Josh has children. The thing is, um, Cregan actually backed Aegon the Third and even had a pretty good relationship with Viserys as well. He lived to a fucking ages. Hmm. Because then we're we're tidying up that claim. Ideally, if I could marry the two, but I don't think that's possible because we're technically first men, Starks. Do I want to do that? Mm. I kind of need to get rid of Rickon. <laughs> if I can have a son, that would be more beneficial. With Baylor. 
because then the future Starks can be House Targaryen, because at the moment we're kind of splitting the line off. Yeah, I suppose we will. No, that's fine. Okay, she's slightly changing the laws. Nothing too crazy. No, I don't want to kill Rhaenyra. I don't even know. We haven't even done any plots. Is that a very... Stark thing to do? Hold a melee. I think we're fine. Oh shit, we can actually face a dragon. <laughs> Fuck. Um, should we try and do that? Ugh. First men. <laughs> Old gods. Northmen. Uh, maybe Baylor might be able to help me in support. Because quite often, I might actually do it because this really happens. Which dragon shall I face it with? Oh, there's none. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Yeah, there's no dragons at Winterfell. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, so I accept the position at Commander. So I just thought when it popped up, I thought he actually might be technically down in the south. Technically, but he's not. No, I don't want to join any of these small feasts. Yeah, it still says I'm a Winterfell. I thought I might not be. Nice. Baylor is now pregnant again. Don't want to lose her. So, Ciara Snow, they're still married off. Changing some of the realm authority. Oh, it looks like the Lannisters are now back into the fold. Cregan the Bold. Looks like Rhaenyra is holding feasts now. And let's go with Pride. And we still need to marry Rickon off. Fuck. Hey, he had another daughter, actually. Hey, but they'll accept this one. Okay. Um, that's a potential option. We might actually... The thing is, we could go with you, maybe. No. I was just trying to see if there's any other female Targaryens that are a little bit older. Valor. Okay. Because quite often the dance is a little bit more chaotic with this <laughs> than this in my uh, other playthroughs. Quite often, uh, Rhaenyra or Daemon aren't alive at this point. Yeah, so let's marry these two together then. Get another claim, because then it won't matter. Raina does look very Targaryen. <laughs> she inherited her mother Baylor's looks. Nice. So Boros is still the heir. Hey, a daughter was born though. Okay. Um. So who was what was Baylor's sister's name? Raina. There we go. Because. Yeah, she would call her Rainer. Very Targaryen. Really called the one Rhaenyra. A lot of daughters, though. Your brother-in-law, Prince Viserys, tried to hatch a dragon egg but failed. Oh, shit. Uh, let's add a new Lord Treasurer. Um, nice. So we're just sort of chilling at the moment. The marriage between my sister. Oh. Okay. We need a son out of this marriage. Can we even rise up against the Iron Throne? Uh, Viserys has successfully hatched one of them. That was right near a 30... 38. So Jason's son now... 
sits the Westerland's throne. <laughs> Elmo finally hangs out in the reach. Yeah, at the moment, still going to go to Rickon. But thankfully, Rhaenyra and Daemon had another daughter. But, yeah, it's... <laughs> offer a donation of two... Yeah. Like, we have the money. Like, why not? Ah, oh, she refused. So what's even going on with the dragons? Sea Smoke, Storm Cloud, Moon Dancer. So Moon Dancer's currently here at Winterfell. We had to make some room at the Godswood. <laughs> but yeah, it still seems like Rhaenyra has a lot of it. Sheep Steel is currently at Fellwood. Yeah, she basically just has all the dragons. There's only a couple in the east. And some at Driftmark. And a bunch of these kids have... Wait, does she have a dragon egg? Yeah, Vela has a dragon egg. Nice. Maylor. Because we'll try and get that off her when she comes north. The Lannisters are fighting someone who? Oh, Tyland is actually fighting his brother. In a Lannister civil war. His brother's nephew. Yeah, Hang on, let me get that clear again. So, Jason's son, Doran, is currently fighting Thailand. Well, that's interesting. The Lord of the Reach is only seven. Currently, he's trying to amass a bunch of money at the moment. Uh, I might be able to marry you to a Baratheon. Potentially. Or something. You know what I mean? Like, that might be a good idea. Nah, they're not interested. Uh, any other Aaron's here? No. Any female? Yeah, okay. What's going on here in... Oh, God. The Lannister line of succession is so goddamn messy. Got a Foss away there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should have just allowed him to marry as he pleased. Yeah, marry a Glover. Seems to be more of your station. <laughs> this is so strange, seeing like Rhaenyra's um, reign be like stable. <laughs> Usually it's so chaotic. I was expecting it to like Jace or a couple more to die then we would have to go down and then maybe usually it gets to a point where there's only anywhere between one to four Targaryens and like no dragons. Um, but this is odd. <laughs> We're just playing marriage simulator here at the moment. Anyway, we've got an event. The Crypts of Winterfell. Cool. This was the day you made a solemn and lonely journey down to the crypts. To pay your respect to your Sark ancestors. You wonder, though, the dark and chilly chambers. You wander, sorry. Looking at the tombs and likeness of the lords and their dire wolves. We've got dragons now and dire wolves. You felt the need to dive deeper into the darkness caverns. I think there's like white walkers and stuff in the vaults and stuff. That's just a theory. Oh, wait. A petrified dragon egg? But you remember the dragon Vermac was in Winterfell. Oh my god, he found a fucking dragon egg? No fucking way. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that's abs- Lucky I read that. Fucking Vermax was down in the crypt. They are sort of solitary creatures, dragons. They sort of like to live in dark caves and warm stuff and... Like sitting on gold, apparently, according to Tolkien. <laughs> and Baylor is now pregnant again. Nice. And it looks like things are starting to stabilize. Westeros is surprisingly in a time of peace. Well, relatively. 
Jace's dragon is currently terrorizing the uh, small folk. I think it's Kregan's only 29 as well. Still really quite young. Rainier is now 40. Hey, they finally had a son. Nice. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.